In this video we will learn about the retortable flexible containers for food packaging. Retortable flexible containers are laminated food packages able to withstand the time and temperature processing of canned food. Products packed and processed in retort-able flexible containers are shelf-stable and offer the convenience of refrigerated or frozen boil-in-the-bag products. The materials for flexible containers must provide good barrier properties for a long shelf life, seal integrity, toughness, and puncture resistance, and must also withstand the rigors of thermal processing. Retortable flexible containers may be retort pouches or semi-rigid containers. Structure of flexible containers The structure of laminate films varies depending on the application. Most pouches are either three or four ply laminates, with an inner layer, in contact with the food, of polypropylene, a barrier layer of aluminium, EVOH, silicon oxide, SIOX, or aluminium oxide, ALOX, a polyamide, nylon, layer and an outer polyester layer. The polypropylene provides the critical heat seal integrity, flexibility, strength, and taste, and odor compatibility with a variety of food products. The inherent characteristics of polyester and polypropylene enable the pouches to be processed at up to 135 degrees Celsius, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. The aluminium foil can be laminated with either the matte or shiny side exposed to view, normally the matte side is to the outside. Aluminium foil provides a barrier to light and gas for extended shelf life. The nylon layer gives strength and puncture resistance. The polyester film is used for high temperature resistance, toughness, and printability, the polyester may be reverse printed, that is, the ink is embedded between the film and the foil. Machinery and Utilities of Retort Processing Machinery Automatic Filling Machine, Band Sealer, Canning Seamer, Cardiner, Check Weigher Retort Pouch Manufacture Containers are loaded into the chamber. The retort lid is sealed. Venting stage air trapped inside the retort is removed prior processing. If air is present at a given pressure the temperature inside the retort will be lower than that attained by steam alone. A mixture of air and steam may stratify leading to cool spots where there is air. This mixture is a less efficient heat transfer medium than steam alone. Air in the retort cuts down the heat penetration of steam by insulating the cans and can accelerate external corrosion. When venting is completed, the venting valve closes and pressure begins to build up in the retort. When process temperature is reached, the thermometer and pressure gauge readings must agree. Pressure range in retort operation, high acid foods, pH less than 4.5, are usually processed at low pressures of around 3-4 kPa. Low acid foods, pH greater than 4.5, are processed at 73 or 103 kPa. The time from when the steam is turned on to when the process temperature is reached is the come up time. Once this has finished, the process begins. Process time is from the end of the come up time to the commencement of cooling. During cooling, the steam is turned off and water is added to the retort immediately to prevent overcooking. Cooling, there are two methods of cooling. For small cans at temperatures less than 116 degrees Celsius, atmospheric cooling may be used. For large cans, with a diameter greater than 6 cm, are processed at temperatures greater than 116 degrees Celsius, pressure cooling is used. In pressure cooling, the pressure around the containers is maintained by compressed air during the addition of water. The water addition causes the steam to condense and the pressure outside the package drops suddenly. As the internal pressure inside the container does not drop until the contents cool, steam distortion may occur if the external pressure is not kept high. Critical Factors in Thermal Processing of Flexible Containers The major critical factors that affect thermal processing of retort containers are the following. Minimum Headspace Product Consistency 
maximum filling or drained weight. Initial temperature, IT. Processing temperature, RT. Processing time, T. Temperature distribution. Container orientation. Residual gas in headspace and in food. Processing and racking systems. Processing medium, saturated steam, water with air pressure for cooling, steam slash air, overheating air pressure. Product heating rates. Materials from which pouch rack is constructed. Divider sheet hole sizes and spacing. Possibly other factors. Advantages of using retortable flexible containers. Retort pouches combine the advantages of the metal can with the frozen boil in the bag. The attributes of flexible containers offer benefits for the consumer, retailer, and manufacturer alike. 1. The thin profile of the pouch or container provides rapid heat transfer for both preparation and for sterilization during processing. A 30-40% reduction in processing time is possible, with energy savings. 2. Reduced heat exposure results in improvements in taste, color, and flavor, there are also fewer nutrient losses. 3. Preparation of products that need to be heated to serving temperature can be accomplished in 3-5 min by immersing the pouch in boiling water or placing the plastic container in a microwave oven. 4. Storage space of the retort pouch or container in a paperboard carton is no larger than that for cans, disposal space is less. 5. Shelf life of retort pouch products is equivalent to that of foods in metal cans. 6. Refrigeration or freezing is not required by packers, retailers, or consumers. 7. Pouches and containers do not corrode externally and there is a minimum of product-container interaction. 8. Opening the pouch requires only tearing the pouch across the top at the notch in the side seam, or by using scissors. The container lid may be peeled open or cut with a knife. 9. The flexible container is safer in that a consumer would not be cut as on a metal can or be faced with broken glass as with glass jars. 10. Empty retort pouches and nesting containers offer processors a reduction in storage space and lighter weight. Compared with empty cans, an equal number of retort pouches use 85% less space and are significantly lighter. 11. Advantages for the retailer include savings in shelf space and the shape makes it easier for the retailer to handle and display the product. 12. The use of a flat carton as an overwrap to hold one or two pouches provides for better product identification on the shelf than cans. The pouch also offers the opportunity to market multipacks, e.g., entree in one pouch and accompaniments such as rice in another. 13. Energy requirements for container construction are less than that for cans. The disadvantages of flexible containers. 1. Thermal processing of flexible containers is more complex and processes have to be established for each product in the particular type and size of container. 2. The filling and sealing equipment, and thermal processing systems, for flexible pouches are generally more expensive than for cans. 3. Filling is slower and more complex. 4. There are limitations in the size of containers that can be reasonably handled and processed. 5. Retort pouches at present require overwrapping such as a carton and may be required for semi-rigid containers. 6. Since the pouch is a flexible container, the detection of leakage is more difficult than with a conventional type container. 7. Pouches and semi-rigid containers may be punctured. 8. Products in the pouches may lose their shape.